नमस्कार टुडे वील स्टडी जेनेटिक वेरिएशन अफेक्टिंग आइसोनेजिड मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड टॉक्सिसिटी सो जेनेटिक वेरिएशन अफेक्ट्स द मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ आइसोनेजिड एंड हेंस इट अफेक्ट्स द टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ आइसोनेजिड एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आइसोनेजिड व्हिच इज आइसोनिकोटिनिक एसिड हाइड्रोजाइड इन शॉर्ट इट इज कॉल्ड आईएनएच and it is a fast line anti tubercular drug and acts on cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis and in particular uh, the co one component of cell wall of mycobacterium that is mycolic acid synthesis is inhibited by inhibiting fatty acid synthesis to enzyme system and this isoneazid is metabolized by the enzyme acetyl transferase uh, to acetyl isoneazid and this acetyl isoneazid then is converted to acetyl hydrazine and this acetyl hydrazine provides this acetyl group which binds to the liver protein so there will be covalent binding to liver protein which causes liver necrosis or hepatotoxicity so uh, one of the side effects of uh, isoneazid is hepatotoxicity and uh, the enzyme involved is acetyl transferase and this acetyl transferase uh, is not uh, uniformly present in all the population throughout the world and it varies so that that's why there is genetic variation and uh, this acetyl transferase enzyme is controlled by a single recessive gene which is associated with low hepatic acetyl transferase activity so the world population can be divided into slow acetylator and fast acetylator the population in which this uh, acetyl transferase activity is less they are called slow acetylators and the population in which this acetyl transferase activity is more they are called fast acetylators and the white populations have equal number of slow and fast acetylators whereas the uh, japanese eskimos asians and 30 to 40% of indians are fast acetylators that means acetyl transferase activity is high in this population whereas egyptians swedish people mediterranean jews and 60 to 70% of indians are slow acetylators that means they have less or low acetyl transferase activity that means uh, when we see this uh, uh, metabolism of uh, isoneazid and uh, if a person is a slow acetylator that means acetyl transferase activity is less that means there is more accumulation of isoneazid and the toxicity will be that of isoneazid and if it is uh, uh, the person is a fast acetylator that means the, he has more high acetyl transferase activity that means the metabolite acetyl hydrazine this acetyl hydrazine is found to be more in uh, in case of fast acetylators uh, <coughs> so this accumulation of acetyl hydrazine occurs in fast acetylators because there is uh, uh, more metabolism because there is more acetyl transferase activity whereas Uh, in slow acetylators there will be accumulation of isoneazid and this isoneazid causes peripheral neuropathy and acetyl hydrazine by uh, providing this acetyl group which uh, uh, causes covalent binding to liver proteins causing hepatotoxicity so <coughs> this occurs in case of fast acetylators and this will be accumulated in case of slow acetylators and uh, isoneazid causes uh, peripheral neuropathy and acetyl hydrazine causes hepatotoxicity and accordingly the two common side effects of isoneazid that is peripheral neuropathy and hepatotoxicity so peripheral neuropathy caused by isoneazid itself hepatotoxicity is caused by acetyl hydrazine the metabolite of isoneazid and hence peripheral neuropathy is common in slow acetylators whereas hepatotoxicity is common 
in case of fast acetylators. So, because because of the acetyl transferase activity which varies from population to population, the world population can be divided into fast acetylators and slow acetylators. And uh, in fast acetylators, the metabolite causes toxicity, that is hepatotoxicity. And in slow acetylators, the isoniazid itself causes toxicity, which is peripheral neuropathy. So, this is all about genetic variations uh, and isoniazid metabolism and toxicity. Thank you.